Hey guys, welcome to the video tutorial for the mini flip album or mini flip insert. Um, I have been making a little mini Christmas album with having Christmas on the brain and I had to laugh because I mean Christmas is only, actually when you look at it it's only four months away so hey not too bad. Alright, um, now this is one for the mini album that I'm making and this is only a two flip. Sorry about the glare guys, it must be. It's either bad lighting or strong lighting. Okay. And I've just adhered some ribbon so then I can keep that closed because the album is going to be flipped and looked through and what have you. And of course one of my tags in there as well for photos. Okay, so let's get started. First you're going to need, um, depending on how many flip inserts you'd like in your album, I know in my first one, how many did I put in? I put in three, and that was quite bulky even with the three. You can make these taller as well. Um, you can cut it to suit your own needs. This is just a basic tutorial of my little one that I've made. Um, it's so simple, guys. Um, not a lot of work is needed in this. So you will need coin envelopes and you will cut these down on the flap um, cut them down to your your actual album size that you're you're making um, if you need to keep them if you need to keep the length I suggest you just take a sliver off and um, so that you've got an opening here okay also, you will need some red line tape. I would strongly suggest this because if your album is being looked at quite a bit and flipped through, you're going to need something really strong, whether you've got other strong adhesive or whether you've got um, glue as well that will hold it down. I like using my red line tape. You can use score tape. Um, once again, you've got to, I think, use the adhesive that's appropriate for the weather that's around um, your country, really, because I found that some adhesives here in Australia don't hold too well in the heat. So you'll go flip through them in summertime or, you know, have a look at them and show people and things are falling off. So you're going to want to have a really good adhesive. Um, the next thing I have is my A4 card sheet. Um, this is eight and a half by just over 11, I think it is. Now, I've cut mine down to, um, what is it? I've cut it down to five and a half, okay, because I am making a smaller insert for my album. Uh, you're going to need a one inch circle punch your trusty cutter and a scoreboard um, whether it be Martha Stewart or Scorpel or any other kind or you can also use your cutter as well if it's got a groove there in the middle so that's fine okay so I'll just move my cutter out the way I have cut pre-cut to keep the video down sorry I'm not sure if I shook the camera then Okay, so what you're going to want to do is, first of all, you're going to need to mat your envelope, your coin envelope. Well, cut it down first to size and then mat it. Now, I've just used scraps for the purposes of this video. Now, I would only recommend matting one side at this point. Okay, now I've cut... Actually, I'll give that a bit of a trim because I need to cut that down. You're going to need, for your flip insert, now you're going to need to cut it the length of your coin envelope here. Mine measures at five, and then you're going to cut it at two. So I'll trim mine down to five, which I need, only need to take a little bit off. And then... It's already cut at two. Okay. 
Then what you're going to want to do is score it at one. Okay. And then fold it over. Make sure you've got a good crease on that on both sides. Okay. Then what I suggest you do is get your red line adhesive, but I'm going to use my score tape for the purpose. Actually, no, I'll just use my Tombow for this. Okay, so you're going to want to have two strips on this, I'd say, or if you can fit more, it depends on how um, how thick your adhesive is. Okay, next step, you're going to want to mat your mini, on, mini envelope, yeah, that's right, onto the back of this hinge here. Okay, right. So you line it up so that it's, it's basically flush against each other here, okay? Now, this is the reason why I said not to do both sides because you will, if you do both sides, if you mat both sides and then put the hinge on, you'll find that you'll have this area here left open and it's not very, it's not very pretty or anything, so unless you want to put trim on it. But I would suggest that now, after you've put the hinge on, you've matted the front. The next step, you're going to want to cut one side of this. Um, put a little opening there so you can pull your tag out, pull your pocket. I'll just do mine roughly. Now, on my one, it's got a little groove there halfway through, so I can line that up with my envelope as well. Usually these pieces here that come off with it, I like to stick back down just so that it gives it a bit of a, um, it finishes it off really. Okay, um, as you can see, I've, I think I've done it on this one. There you go. I've done it on that way. You can choose not to do it. You can ink it up or sponge it around as well. So that's fine. Whatever suits your needs, you tailor it to your own designs. Okay, so... You can, at this point, before you do the matting on these or before you get these organised, you can actually um, mat your folder up, put a bit of ribbon around it as well to tie it up. I suggest you probably do all of that before you actually stick these in. Okay. So I've left mine blank for the purposes, once again, of the video. Now, I've got my hinge attached to my coin envelope there. Okay, now you're going to want to, um, I like to leave a bit of a border around mine and see how I've cut my. I'm not sure if you can notice that a green on green, I probably should have done it a different colour. But you're going to want to put adhesive on the back here for the purposes of the video once again. I'm going to put this on there. Okay, that's a bit rough looking at the back. Alrighty. So I'm just going to stick mine down, make sure that it's all lined up. Okay, so that's down. Uh, there's my flip portion. Okay, let's take that bit off actually. All right, then you're going to want to grab your second one. And what you're going to do is follow the same procedure. You can mat this now, okay, before you put the second one on. All right, because then you can you can match up your designs as well that way easier as well okay so what you're going to want to do is grab your second one again once again with the hinge you put it on your envelope what you're going to want to do is butt it up against that piece there so it's at the bottom of that first hinge okay same concept You're putting, you're butting your hinge up the top there, okay, against that so that you've got your flip. Then you're going to put another hinge, okay, glue it down, and then you will have another hinge showing. I will, I'll mat another one, okay, just quickly. If I can find my opening. Okay, what I've done is I've had... I've got my openings facing 
on the left hand side I've got the openings on the left side and on the right hand side the openings are on the right hand side obviously for oh, obvious reasons is you can pull your tags out easier okay now I'll do another hinge um, okay. so I'm going to cut my cardstock down to the size that I need it so my envelope is five and then I want it by two which has already been cut at two okay then I'm going to score that one okay so I've scored that at one all right then we're going to fold it over and burnish it make sure it gives it a nice crease so when you flip over okay now there's an envelope out on there I'm going to put my adhesive on there and then I'm going to line up my coin envelope I'll do it this way so you guys can see it okay now this coin envelope is slightly bigger but that doesn't matter for the purposes okay and that's it at the back there's my hinge okay you put your strip on the outside of it or your tape whatever you're using Keep it folded over like this because it's easier to mat up against this line here. Okay, so you're going to want to butt it up against that, which means just hit the top of your envelope on the bottom of that, um, the hinge there. Okay, actually, I'm moving it over a bit, even though it's going to be an overhang. All right, so you've got your flip here and remember you're going to have that matted as well, right? Okay, so I'll quickly mat that, it gives you a finish. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly mat that. Once again, don't put it too close to your score line here because you might not be able to close the thing. Okay, all right. So you've got your, your flip there. Flip it over and flip it over. Once again, give that a good mat. Same thing, same technique again. Have it folded over like this, your hinge. Butt it up against the edge of this card stock here have it underneath now when you come to the bottom bit um, I didn't leave the hinge exposed on this one I just left it and then put my paper right around it so that gives you an opportunity for another photo mat there as well so I hope this has explained everything <laughs> I didn't want to go over my time limit or anything but um, as you can see the yeah, um, you can make your mats to fit your pockets again as well. And there's my little binder thing there as well. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. I'll gladly answer any and all questions that you may have. And hopefully this was explained in detail to you. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed it and look forward to um, chatting with you guys soon with more tutorials and more albums and have a great day. Take care. Bye.